No, he loves us that much. And you can see the love as Dakota comforted his mom while she retold us what happened. I remember I was shaking and, you know, we were all scared and I didn't quite register what was going on until we had got out. Blankets still on the couch where they fell asleep, but even through it all, they remained thankful. My kids, you know, they were all crying and we were we were thankful that it was him that woke us up that got us out. However, it wasn't just a tough night for the family, but the fire community as well. Well, we were notified. Our pagers alerted us about 12, 13 a.m. Monday morning. <laughs> and all five automatically knew that it was two of our firefighters just home. But when the chief was asked about the true hero. We should have had you a hero badge put around your neck, huh? While Dakota couldn't hear it, he could smell it and see to alert his people and still make it out safely with them. He'd be the hardest thing to lose. You know, I know we, we get dogs throughout our life, but he's been the best.